So now we're going to build on what we did, what we touched on the last chapter, how something is made. Oops. Yep. So we talked about cooking, the process of you know, sequence of chopping something, adding something in, stirring something, baking it, whatever. We've talked a little bit about that in previous courses. Um, there's a couple of more, I don't want to say specific vocab, because in most of these cases, you're actually showing an ICL or a semantic classifier of how that cooking process happens. Like, mash, right? So I usually bowl potatoes in. I've seen people do mashed potatoes, but it's not as clear as there's almost none of these that don't look somewhat sexual. So just forgive yourself. Um, so from water, boil, here are the flames, right? Here's the container, water, fill, boil. Um, cook the generic, bake generic, fry, get under and scoop it, right? Um, or fry, deep, boil. Um, and then examples of questions. Oh, you know, you know that happened. So notice what they're doing. This is the topic. No potato. Eyebrows up, right? You know, you know potatoes, right? You can cook lots of different ways, right? How? What? Um, what are the different ways, right? So we're not how. It's what are the different ways. Um, So you could do either way, what or how. Um, and again, we're asking a person, what are the different ways to cook? So you can boil, fold, turn over. So, you know, there's, again, not that many vocab in this chapter, but there's a lot of showing the ICL of how you would manipulate them. Now you can just describe how it looks, right? A taco or for a hard shell. Describing how you'd make an omelet, right? So eggs, scramble, pour in, chop, 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 pepper, whatever, put it in, then. Anyway, really cool Japanese omelet that I'm dying to try to make. I think it's called a tornado omelet, something like that. Anyway, um, how you make a banana split. These are all iconic foods that it's the process that defines how they are, not necessarily just the name. So think about if there's something that you make that's a certain order, that something happens in the right way. Like if you want to describe Chipotle. They always do, do things in a certain order, right? So think about that. Piata, same kind of thing. 
there's a lot of fast food restaurants that give you that sort of process to make something. And I don't know what you make, what if you've got a special food, if there's something that you really dig making. Um, uh, everybody seems to have one signature dish, even if it's just Kraft mac and cheese, I make it best. Um, I used to make it, and when I ran out of butter, I would use the little garlic butter tubs that would come with Papa John's pizzas. Oh, really good. Probably really awful for me. I'm sure my my uh, internal organs have melted somewhat because of like the preservatives, but it was good. Um, okay, so there's all different kinds of foods that we're gonna that we could talk about. Um, one of the things that go around we can do. I don't often do this. Is have everybody go around and pick some vegetable or food or fruit or something else like that, that someone would know what it is based on the description, not necessarily the name. Little, little, little puzzle. It's only of limited entertainment. And usually I get about four or five people in and then we're like, okay, let's finish this. We don't want to do this anymore. But like, So, I mean, again, I feel like so many, there are so many activities crammed into the books that sometimes they work and sometimes they just are boring. So more foods. Here we go. We actually have a vocab list of stuff to look up. Um, so they're in the book. If you actually go to YouTube and just type in signing naturally unit 16 vocab, these things will come up. Um, easy enough. A lot of them are fingerspelled as you can see. Broccoli and cauliflower. Um, and you notice all we're doing is we're adding um, LCL and like, so there's information. Start out with the general stuff. What's the name of the meal? Where's it from? Is there a country? Whatever. Then what's the main ingredient? Meat, vegetable, fruit, alcohol. Um, and like, what kind of food is it? Is there a general class of food we can talk about? Then describe it, what it looks like. What are the things involved? Did you have to, you know, mix things together? And then ICL to show the activities. Are there any ingredients you add? And then it becomes this process of you describe something, you add, talk about something else, add something else, right? So there's no set, it must be this order. You establish a classifier, you define what it's going to be, then you show it. You define the next one, then you show it. You define the next one, you show it. So whatever you need to define it, you put in that little spot. And my favorite food. Now we're just building up. Um, if you remember, uh, after unit 15, we talked, we've talked about sequencing, or 13, we've talked about sequencing things. Now we're just going a little bit for further and asking people to talk about now the foods they hate and why they hate it. Um, and that's 1608. Literally, we're just practicing doing recipes and we've already done most of them. So this is just a little bit of expansion.